Hello everybody in the VC. Um, it's Tuesday evening and the sun today um, decided to show its face at about half past three quarter to four. So it's finally broke through because we had a, a misty, foggy, cloudy day and I'm thinking that must have something to do with why Andy's YouTube channel is called Cloudy Wilder. Um, I don't know if it's weather related, but generally we get a lot of cloud here. But uh, this is a quick video um, as a response to Vinylizer John's um, five bands that I don't listen to anymore. Um, <coughs> and the f I've got four that I can show because the fifth well, the 5th, 6th and 7th, if you, if you want to include the three, I don't have anything in my collection anymore from these bands. Um, so I would say <coughs> the first, well, the first three bands I'm going to mention, don't listen to them anymore, and it's Poison, Motley Crue, and I've forgotten who the third one is. <laughs> um, yeah. But it's, it's one of these bands, actually, so, um, Poison and Motley Crue, let's call it two, right? So these, oh, Van Halen's the third one, because, um, yeah, they've been mentioned in all the other videos just about that I've watched on this thread response. Um, so yeah, so Motley Crue, Poison and Van Halen, and I used to have a lot of Poison on the CD back in the kind of late 80s, early 90s, um, but I think um, probably a bit like some of you have said already, um, I think I've just got fed up or sickened with the, certainly the main hits, if you like, the main radio hits from these guys, um, girls, 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 Dr. Feel Good, you know, um, that sort of thing. Um, and you know, uh, nothing but a good time, and fallen angel, and every rose has its thorn, and you know what I'm talking about there. Um, I just think certainly Motley Crue and Poison, I would class as hair metal, glam metal, the early scene from the 80s. Um, and while some of that's okay, I, I kind of, it's not my favourite kind of um, type of, or genre. Um, and, you know, I, I, I don't think I'm in a hurry to go back and uh, listen to any of their music. Um, I'm not really fussed for it anymore for some reason. So that's Poison and Motley Crue and Van Halen. Um, as I, I commented on Metal Mickey's uh, video response, because he included them as well, and I think it's just with them, I never, I tried to get into Van Halen, but I never really got that into them. I think just their sound and the vocals of both David Lee Roth and Sammy Hagar, um, I'm not really sure if I have a preference out of those two, but just both of them I never um took to greatly i mean you know van halen are they're okay um but i just i've had enough of listening to them and you know again their hits especially jump and um there's another one from the same period as well that's always on uh, why can't this be love and um, these two i hear on the radio all the time and I just, you know, if I never heard them again, it would be too soon. So that's them. So moving on to the next four that I can shoot. Next one for me is Guns N' Roses. Um, this is the only album, the Guns N' Roses, I have now. I, I used to have a couple of others, um, and I had one or two of the singles um, as well. But again... And even this album, I'm not in a hurry to listen to because, again, you hear them on the radio all the time. And 
it's it's a kind of a overkill type thing, you know. The radio is kind of helping to ruin some songs that we once loved, um, which is a bit of a pest, unfortunately. But but I I'm not I was never the biggest Guns N' Roses fan. I, you know, I like this album, but I'm maybe one of the few people, a handful of people in the world that didn't get overwhelmed by Appetite for Destruction. I can understand why it was so big at the time. It was it was a different sound. It was more of a raw sound that came out um, and a kind of refreshing in a way, I guess. Um, but, uh, the, you know, I just not really positive for Guns N' Roses. Certainly anymore, anyway. But that's that one. Uh, the next one I don't really listen to anymore is due to kind of similar reasons. Queen. Um, absolutely adore Queen. Freddie Mercury, amazing. You know, Brian May, amazing. They're very unique band. Unique musicians, unique sound. <coughs> um, great orchestration in the music as well. Um, but again, it's the radio. They're always on and it's always the same hits, probably many of them from this. This is a compilation, obviously, The Greatest Hits 2. Um, I mean, on here, Kind of Magic, Under Pressure, Radio Gaga, um, I Want to Be Free, um, da -da 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 -da. The Show Must Go On, One Vision, they're all on the radio all the time. And there's no need for you to come home and put it on your own CD player or record player if you've heard it already 70 times a week. So <laughs> that's Queen. But um, I do still love Queen um, and appreciate their music. Um, another band that I still love and appreciate is Heart. Um, but again, it's not a band that I listen to a lot, certainly at the moment. Um, <clears throat> this is the album Brigade, which I think was 1990. Um, <clears throat> it's got some, you know, some great songs on it, obviously. Um, and I do like her a lot. Um, but again, I just kind of you hear some of their songs um, from, you know, the two previous albums to this as well. Um, Never, These Dreams. Um, I can't remember, but, but you know, you'll know them. Um, never. Um, but I think I've just heard them so much, and I did used to listen to them a great deal um, back in the day. So I think I just needed a rest from her. And um, so I haven't really listened to them in quite a while, actually. So, but as I say, I still like a lot of Hearts music. Um, and maybe one day I'll come back to them later on. Um, finally, for me, <coughs> uh, Bon Jovi, especially this album, Slippery When Wet. Um, it's this is my original copy from 1986, um, and it, you know, I played it loads when I first got it. I think I got this probably in about 1988. So, you know, I'd been released for a, a couple of years before I, before I got my dad or mum or somebody to get me it for Christmas or something like that. Um, but yeah, um, <sighs> living on a prayer, I'm on the verge of hating that song and I used to love it because of the radio. Also, you give love a bad name, you know, but wanted dead or alive, <sighs> this, you know, um, it's a great album, obviously, it's, but Bon Jovi, I've had enough of Bon Jovi at the moment. I mean, there's lots of their albums, um, but I'm not in a hurry to get home and play them either. I'm kind of discovering a lot of new bands just now as well, and I think a lot of that's due to the VC, um, which is something I might, I'm going to comment on in another video, um, is the kind of influence that the VC is having on me as well. So that's the five bands I don't really listen to anymore. It's not so much that I, I don't like them, it's just that, you know, 
enough's enough kind of thing. So until the next video, I'll catch you all later. Bye.